just wanted to cover one problem on simple harmonic motion that I felt probably could use a little bit more of an explanation. So imagine I have a surface, a spring, a block, and I mean a platform, and then I carefully place a block on it. So that the key piece there being that the block has no initial kinetic energy, and then we're going to give some values uh, K of 125 newtons, oops, newtons per meter, um, a mass of 5 kilograms, um, and so we can look at a couple of different things. The first thing we should do is we can use energy, and we can figure out that at the top, the energy is mgh. And then what's going to happen is that it's going to compress the spring to some distance. And we're going to call that distance H. Um, and the energy at the bottom, once the spring is compressed, the block has no more potential energy. We're going to, all of that energy stored is going to be in the form of um, spring potential energy and that looks like one-half kx squared. We're going to set these two equal. You have mgh is one-half kh squared. One of the h's is going to cancel out. You get two mg over k is equal to h. And if you plug numbers in, you should get 0.8 meters or 80 centimeters. Okay. So that's going to that is how much the the um, block compresses the spring. But let's think about what's going on here for a second. When it's at this point right here, the velocity is equal to 0. But if we do a free body diagram at that point, this is at that v equals 0 point. I've got an upward force of kx, and I've got a downward force of mg. So this is interesting, because what this is telling me is that ma is equal to uh, plus kx minus mg, and if you go through and do the numbers, this the upward force looks like 125 times 0.8, and the downward force looks like 50 newtons. That's just mg. So if you do the math out, it turns out that this looks like 100 newtons minus 50 newtons and so that there's an acceleration of 50 newtons divided by 5 of 10 meters per second squared. And what this means is that the block at that point will kind of accelerate back up again. So we really end up having a situation where we have simple harmonic motion. Because let's think about this. At the very top, when I dropped it, it had an acceleration of 10 meters per second. In reality, um, I have it going down. But that's not a big deal. Actually, let's do it right. Minus 10. I have an acceleration of minus 10 meters per second. It's going to come up. And it's going to get to this point right here, which is at the bottom. And it's going to go and do our simple harmonic motion. But what's the? let's think about what the displacement, what is the amplitude going to be equal? Well, the amplitude is just, in this case, half of h. And the idea there is I want to look and figure out where the acceleration is equal to zero. And the acceleration 
is equal to zero when mg, sorry, let me state that a different way. Um, the acceleration is equal to zero when mg is equal to kx, and that corresponds to an x of 0 0.4 meters. So remember, this was acceleration versus time. It's just as a reminder, the angular frequency omega is square root of k over m, and in this case we could easily write omega is equal to 5 radians per second, and so the equation of motion would look like x is equal to 0 0.4 cosine 5t. And I chose cosine because I'm going to argue that it started out at a maximum displacement. But the one piece we have to be clear about is that x equals 0, comma, at the middle, oops, at middle of the spring.